ISRO creates history once again. From launching satellites to landing on the moon, ISRO has always been at the forefront of space exploration. And now, it has achieved another groundbreaking feat, developing India's first fully indigenous 32-bit microprocessors for space applications. Introducing Vikram 3201 and Kalpana 3201, microprocessors designed, developed and fabricated entirely in India. There is quite literally no stopping ISRO. Recently, it became the only fourth nation to successfully dock in space after USA, China and Russia. ISRO's latest breakthrough in developing indigenous 32-bit microprocessors is quite literally path-breaking. I mean, this is more than just another chip. Vikram 3201, the first ever fully Indian-made 32-bit microprocessor, is designed to withstand the extreme conditions of space. Fabricated at the 180NM Semiconductor Fab at SCL Chandigarh, this processor is an advanced version of the Vikram 1601, which has been powering ISRO's launch vehicles since 2009. These processors will control critical avionic systems of rockets, ensuring precision, stability and resilience in India's future space missions. Semiconductors are quite literally now the backbone of modern technology. Until now, India has relied heavily on foreign chips for space applications, but that's about to change. With Vikram 3201 and Kalpana 3201, India is breaking free from dependency and it's establishing itself as a leader in space-grade microprocessors. In the past, ISRO sourced key processors from global semiconductor giants. But with increasing geopolitical uncertainties and supply chain disruptions, the need for indigenous semiconductor capability became more urgent than ever before. But let me tell you, ISRO's space chips are just one piece of a much bigger puzzle. Meet Shakti, the first Indian microprocessor developed by IIT Madras, aimed at reducing dependency on Chinese and Western imports. Shakti is built on the open source RISC-V architecture and is designed for everything from consumer electronics to defense and even space applications. With Shakti C-Class and E-Class processors, India is building a strong foundation for homegrown semiconductor innovation. Shakti is not just a processor, it's an entire ecosystem. Companies like, say, Incor, Mindgrove Technologies, Chakra Electronics, Vioma Systems, these are all building next-generation processors on top of the Shakti core setting the stage for India's semiconductor revolution. With indigenous chips now powering our rockets, ISRO is taking a huge leap forward towards self-reliance. These advancements will not only uh, enhance the reliability and security of India's space missions, but will also fuel future collaborations in AI, defense, and commercial space ventures as well. India's semiconductor journey is just beginning. But with projects like Shakti, Vikram 3201, Kalpana 3201, the country is positioning itself as a serious contender in the global space and semiconductor race. From building powerful space microprocessors to creating a self-sufficient semiconductor ecosystem literally, India is no longer just catching up, it's leading the charge. And with IIT Madras and ISRO working hand in hand, the dream of a truly indigenous tech-driven India is becoming a reality. What do you think? Is India ready? to lead the global semiconductor industry? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with a fellow AI and tech enthusiast just like you, just like me. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV because we bring for you the real-time live updates from the world of tech and AI. Because think AI, think AIM.